Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Honor of the Line. Today we're going to be talking about the SVS Infinity braking system found on most Shimano reels. And I'm going to show you guys how to set it up properly the very first time, every time. You gotta get your arms way up in a cat and set the hook on small mouth fast and then you'll understand. You gotta get your hands on a Shimano reel. Energy lumens right, I'll bet you like what you feel. Step on the deck, give it a whirl. Hello, welcome to my world. So this, this method basically works on any bait casting reel out there that's not a DC reel. We're going to be talking specifically about the SVS Infinity braking system on this Shimano Metanium. But you can use this same technique for pretty much any reel on the planet. It's going to just be a little different setup or scenario. So right now I have this set up with a 3 16 ounce tungsten head and a brush hog with a 4 out hook set up as a Texas rig here. And so the very first thing you're going to want to do is, especially on the SVS Infinity braking system on most Shimano reels, is you're going to want to pull the cover off of the side of your reel. That way you can see where your brakes are set up. On the SVS Infinity braking system, if you look right here, you can see those, those three little or four little tabs there. Notice how they're flat. That means that they are all on so normally they're all on when you get it out of the box and it looks similar to this right here a really good place to start on all rod and reel manufacturers is if it has an internal braking system just like this is to turn two of them on turn two of them off uh, my favorite way to do it is to go basically across turn this one off and this one off across from each other there that way you can uh just have a, a good place to start. So I'm gonna turn this thing, two of these off, or click them up in there so you can see this a little better there. So the two that are, that are laying flat here on this ends are on, these here are off. So with the SVS Infinity braking system specifically, these are centrifugal brakes. So what happens is when you cast, those brakes make contact with that brass piece there and causes your spool to slow down. So as you cast, the farther or the faster you cast, it's going to put more centrifugal weight on that and it's going to cause those things to come into contact with that more often or um, you know, for a longer period of time, which is going to slow your spool speed down. And when the spool gets to a certain point where there's not enough inertia to sling those things out, uh, those little tabs in here, it's going to have less and less braking capability. So your uh, lure is going to maybe backlash a little more on the farther end of the, the cast. So right now what I'm doing is putting the cover back on my metanium here. So again, this is a great place to start with having two brakes or two tabs on. Again, this is SVS braking system, but pretty much any other reel manufacturer is gonna have basically the same thing. Next thing over here is if your reel has an external brake adjustment, just like this metanium here, I'm gonna turn this up to about midway. So this one goes from one all the way to six, actually a little bit past that to six is max. So I'm gonna turn it down to about three. So that gives me a good rough starting point. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Hopefully you can. Um, you know, that's a rough starting point on my external brake adjustment. If your reel doesn't have an external brake adjustment, that's something you're gonna to have to deal with. What the external brake adjustment does is allow you to make adjustments on the fly in case you change baits or the wind gets a little better or, or more, um, you know, gets a little more amplitude to it or it's blowing harder. It gives you the ability to change it on the fly without having to take the cover off your reel. The next thing you're gonna be looking at is the spool adjustment knob, which is right here. All bait casting reels are gonna have this spool adjustment knob and basically what that does, it allows the spool to or it allows it to let more line out more effortlessly. So what you want to do is you want to, if I release the spool release button here, you can see that it goes down. You can see my, my bait in the back going down fairly slowly. That's actually a little too much. So basically what you want to do is you want to set up this spool adjustment knob right here to allow the bait to fall 
at a slow rate. And when it hits the ground, you shouldn't have any spools of, of backlash or any loops here. So if I press this and I watch my bait go down, when it hits the ground, you're going to see here, I have a substantial, a lot of loops there in my line, which means the spool adjustment knob is too loose. So let me pull this backlash out and uh, I'll show you how to properly set it up. All right, so we determined in that last shot that this is set up too loose. So you're going to turn this spool adjustment knob again here on the side, right here. You're going to turn that counterclockwise. So you're going to turn it to the right. So we're going to turn it and I'm going to try it again. So we'll see the bait going down here. It hit the ground fairly slow. Notice that there's no spools or line that are spooled around there. It's actually, if I look at it here a little bit closer, it's actually going down a little too fast. You want it to just barely fall when you press the spool release button. So it's, it's totally tight there. I'm going to loosen up the spool adjustment knob until it starts to fall very slowly, which is pretty good there, I think. Let's see. Yep, not bad there. So we have a really good starting point. We've set up our uh, internal brakes. We have two on, two off. We have the external adjustment on this titanium. Again, not all reels have the external adjustment. But if they do, you're going to want to set that up on about midways. And then you're going to set the spool adjustment knob here to where your bait falls down at a slow descent. So then I should be able to make a cast. Notice here that I have some, some loops there of a backlash starting. So now what I have to do is I have to decide whether how I want to actually tackle this. I could make the spool adjustment knob a little tighter. I could change the external brake adjustment or I could turn more brakes on on the inside. So what I would do probably is I'm just gonna probably um, take the external brake adjustment because this reel has one and I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. That way it gives me the opportunity to have a little bit more feel of the, of the rod or feel of the bait and see if I can get it to quit backlashing. That cast right there was about 50 yards probably pretty good cast for a, a small uh, bait like this. But again, I did get a little bit of backlash. So I'm going to turn the side here from three, I'm going to turn it to maybe four. You can see there now that that is set up on four now. So now let's try to make another cast. It hit the ground. I did thumb it a little bit, so we'll try it again. But notice there that that thing there's not a single loop of a backlash there, so we are right where we need to be. Um, it didn't take anything off my cast distance, which was really, really good. I don't want to take away from my casting distance on any of my brakes. Sometimes you can't get around it. Sometimes it's just the way it is, especially if you're throwing a really heavy bait. But let's try it again. Let's try it without thumbing it and see what happens. Notice that my thumb was totally off of the reel there. I have no backlash and you guys can't see it. I get it, but it's a solid 45, 50 yard cast there just by flipping it. That's uh, one thing that comes with this metanium. Uh, you get effortlessly, effortless casting distance. I caught one. So before I go out and get my bait unhooked here, that pretty much does it for this video. That's how to set up any bait casting reel, especially Shimano reels with the SVS Infinity braking system. Three things to remember. You can actually, uh, again, most all reels have internal brakes. Go in there and turn two of them on or turn half of them on. If they have six, put three of them on. It's a good place to start, half on, half off. Turn your external brake adjustment about halfway if you have that and turn your, um, your spool adjustment knob to where the bait falls very slowly. And when it hits the ground, there's no loops of a backlash and cast. If it's still getting a little bit of backlash, use your external brake adjustment or your spool tension knob. And if you're still getting backlashes, go in there and add more braking on the inside. Guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing. And if you can, get out there and lean on them. We'll see you next time on another line.